Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Diana. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Good evening, Maria. Teacher. Hello, Blanca. Carla, Floricia, Ana. Okay, so let us wait a little bit. We're still missing like three minutes, but meanwhile, you can have some review. You can uh, like practice what uh, you were studying lately, right? I think you had a homework, homework assignment. Uh -huh, so do me the favor to practice a little bit. Ya démosle un poquito, un par de minutitos a los demás que puedan conectarse. Mientras tanto, ustedes practican lo que nos van a compartir esta noche. Sé que han estado estudiando, practicando para podernos sorprender con esas presentaciones eh, que ya tienen por ahí, ¿ok? Esperémonos un par de minutitos, ¿ok? Teacher, eh, en base a eso, yo tengo una pregunta. Tell me, Mary. Eh, Fíjese que yo hice la traducción, ¿verdad?, de lo que iba a hablar. Y yo puse que salimos de paseo a la playa con mi familia. Ajá. Pero el verbo que me tira es walk, caminar. Y yo no estoy poniendo que es caminamos. Uh, so you, you say, uh, we went out. Salimos, we went out. Ajá. El pasado de tira, go, we went. went far a walk. Porque así me lo tiró en el traductor. Okay, so as, as we went way. for a walk. Uh, we went for a walk. Salimos uh -huh. de paseo, okay? Ah, uh, pero si yo lo tiro así, a que me lo ponga en español, me dice salimos a caminar a la playa. Ajá, uh -huh, so pero, pero usted puede decir, we went to the beach. Fuimos a la playa. We went to the beach. Okay. Uh -huh. Es que okay. el, lo que sucede es que cuando le ponemos como así muy literal en español, el traductor también lo pone así. Si usted le pone, salimos a caminar a la playa, él se lo va, se lo va, se lo va a decir así. O sea, es muy, muy literal. Pero si usted dice, ah, fuimos a la playa, we went to the beach. And that's it, right? Ok. Ok. Gracias, okay. teacher. Ok. So, two minutes and then we start, okay? Dos minutos y, y empezamos. Hey, good evening to everybody. Now, yes, we're going to start. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening for people I'm who are just... My house. Uh, you are just coming back home, Armando, okay? Yes. All right. So, let, thank for letting me know about it. Well, I will check this attendance. You know, that is the first step I need to do just before going to, to the activities for tonight. Mm, let me see. I have the list over here. Mm, okay. So tonight is September the 20th, right? Today is Wednesday, September the 20th. So hopefully we're going to have a great time together tonight. And we're going to learn something, okay? Especially tonight, I need to to see the way you develop uh, when 
presenting certain information. Okay, I, can, I have Ana Graciela. Not here yet. Uh, Anderson Jeremy. Anderson. So Anderson's not here yet. Armando. I'm here, teacher. Here, Armando. Uh, Blanca Stephanie. Present, teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Cel Cecia Gemina. Diana Patricia. Present, teacher. Okay. Elmer. Present, teacher. I'm sorry. So Elmer is there. Elsa Noelia. Present. Good. Floricia. Floricia is not here. Yeah, Floricia is here. Floricia Ingrid. Present. Ingrid is present. Uh, Jaime Ivan. I am here, teacher. Good, Ivan. Karina Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Karina, welcome. Uh, then I have Carla Gabriela. Present. Good, Carla. I have Kenny Guadalupe. Ke Kenny is here. Good. Uh, Maria Imelda. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Maria Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Great. Marisol de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Nelson Rutilio. Present teacher. Romeo. Present teacher. Ronald. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Wilfredo. And that's it, right? So Wilfredo and that's it. Well, really good. Later I will check list at the end of the four. The second time. This is the first time I do it. And I need to do it. I need to do it later. Well, you know. We will continue. Just uh let me see Anna Ramos. I will be as a listener. Oh, okay, Anna, I got it. I got your message, Anna. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can just uh, participate actively in a class, but if you have some techni technical problems, you can see the video of the this session, right? Well, let's go over the activities for tonight. Well, have, oh, we have just talked a little about some uh, questions. Yesterday we talked about there's no questions in English and in simple past tense, right? Simple past tense, questions, and well, tonight we're gonna talk about some activities we did during vacation time. Okay, so, well, as you can see here, there is some vocabulary, I will play the video and then so that we can Okay, Cecia, I will check list attendance also later. Cecia and Wilfred, okay? Don't worry, because I will check that, that list attendance later. So let us see this video, then we're going to react about, about it. Listen. Let me know if you can listen. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. Go hiking. You can go swimming. swimming. Go hiking. After go that, swimming. I would like for you Have. to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. 
So actually, this is very short, right? Like, I don't know if you could complete this one. You say, okay, you say a class. Uh, you say what? Have a class, meet a class, play a class, see a class, take a class. What's the way you say it? Yes, have a class. class. I have a class. Fan? Fun? Neat. You need some fun? Hiking? Oh. Go hiking, right? So go hiking. A movie? See a movie. I see yeah. a movie. See a movie. New people? Meet. Meet. Meet new Meet. people. All friends? Mama. See. See all friends. A picnic? Okay. Uh -huh. Take. Oh, take. Have a picnic, right? Have, have. have I think. Picnic. Now, pictures? Take a picture. Oh, yes. Take, take pictures, pictures, right? Play? A play? Play. Play. Play a play. Play a play. play. Swimming? Go. Go swimming. Go swimming. Tennis? Play, play tennis. Play tennis. Volleyball? Play volleyball. Play volleyball. Play volleyball. So, we got familiarized with the some vocabulary that we may use in the future okay so summer activities i told you yesterday that you had a homework right the homework was about talking it was related to uh talking about um vacation time in english right so but let me see i will stop sharing this part and I will go over to no 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 uh, to the manual to the PDF over oh, here. Now, as you remember, yesterday we had this conversation between Laura and Erica, and Laura said, "So, did you go anywhere last summer?" "Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really." Do you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses and we also went water rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time, okay? So this was, la, oh, this is uh, an example. Okay, this is an example about certain situation that somebody can do during the vacation time. Okay, so you know, uh, yesterday we also studied about how to form questions and what to do regarding to the verb, right? The way also to answer, yes, I did, no, I didn't, and then you can include a period. And if we, if you want to provide further information or more information, then you continue with it. But as you can see, you have auxiliary, the verb in the base form, auxiliary, the verb in the base form, auxiliary, and the verb in the base form. Something that you need to keep in mind. So, but when you say the sentence in a positive way, so you don't use any auxiliary, but you you use the verb in the simple past form. Okay, actually, this is what we did yesterday or what we studied a lot, okay? So I have some conversations over here, but before going to the, to this part, um, let me see, I will stop sharing this. I have some more vocabulary for you because um, I consider it's important to have some review and to see some vocabulary that's, that may help you in the activities that are coming. Hey, summer memories. Summer memories. So we are going to see some vocabulary here. Hey, now let us talk about vacation time. Did you spend time by the sea, people? Did you spend time by the sea? Yes or no? During vacation time? Mm -hmm. You say, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Uh-huh. Once more, hey, did you spend time by the sea? 
No, I didn't. No, you didn't. What about the rest? Did you spend time by the sea, people? Yes or no? Time to talk. We're going to work a little in our speaking tonight. Okay. So you say no, say yes, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Now let's see the next one, please. Hey, did you pick up some flowers during the um, vacation time? I didn't. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Was it interesting, your vacation? Was your vacation interesting? Did you climb mountains? I did. No, you didn't. Maybe the Isaco volcano or the Santa Ana volcano? No? No. Did you take photos? Take photos. Did you take photos? Did you take pictures? Yes, I did. Your, ah, you yes, did. I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, you have fortune. Yes, you, yes, I did. You have some memories there, right? Good. Did you buy some new something new for your house? House? Yes, I did. Yeah, you yes, did. I... Okay, you did. Were you caught by the thunderstorm? Yes. yes. No, I wasn't. No, you weren't. Okay, now as you can ah, see. No, you weren't. Now you say, hey, were you caught by the thunderstorm? They say, no, I was not. No, I wasn't. We're using the verb to be in the past form. Well, I think tomorrow we're going to talk a little more about verb being in the past. Hey, did you watch the sunset? You know the sunset? Yes, I did. Yes, I do. Yes, that is something amazing, right? To see the sunset. I think there is something that uh, we we really awesome. love. It is awesome. It's awesome, right? It is actually awesome to see the sun the sunset. Uh, did you go on a picnic? No, did I you, didn't. No, you no, didn't. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. didn't. Oh, yeah. hey, did you go oh, swimming? Did you go swimming in the pool? I did. Yes, I did. Yes, ah, I did. you yes, did. did. Okay. Some people swam in a pool. I can swim. Oh, you cannot <laughs> swim? Do you have a backyard no. barbecue? Hey, this is another activity I consider it's really nice to have a backyard barbecue with your family. Hey, do you have a backyard barbecue? Yes, yes, I, I do. do. Oh, that's delicious, yes, right? Do. That is yeah, very delicious. Like to be like cooking and talking with the family or friends. Did you go fishing? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. you didn't. Did you tour the city? No, I didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, uh, somebody did. Did you go to the lake? Quite a peck of lake, maybe. No, I didn't. No, you didn't no, go no. to the lake. Uh, did you visit the museum? No, I didn't. No, no. I didn't. No. no. Did you see a movie? Yes, I did. Ah, you saw, which movie did you see? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ah, you did. Yes, I did. In the house. Uh, at home. You saw a movie at home. La at Sirenita. Home. La Sirenita, okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. Now, uh, do you go start gazing? What is your start gazing? Uh, where is start gazing? Can you can you see in the in the internet? Maybe you have a dictionary. Oh. Okay, so did you go start gazing? Yes, I. I did. That's fantastic, also, right? The ghost start gazing. Hey, did you have a road trip? Yes, I did. Ah, yes, you did. Did you make an apple pie? 
No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I can't. You can't. Hey, did you read a book? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. did you ride a horse? No, I didn't. I have beer. Hey, did you eat watermelon? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Did you plant vegetables? Yes, I did. 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 Uh, did you pick up mushrooms? No, I didn't. No, you didn't? Did you revise English classes? Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Uh, and that's it, right? So you see, a lot of activities that we can do during vacation time. So now I will stop sharing because I think it's been it's been enough. I know there are some some more activities, right, that we did during the vacation time. But so far we have like an idea about the topic. So we are getting familiarized with the topic itself. So then in order to finish, because after this part, uh, you are going to share what you did during the vacation time. Let's see. Oh, it started to rain tonight. Hopefully we are not gonna face any problem. So in here you have the correct, the correct, you are gonna tell me about the correct um, name of the plane. For example, in the number one, what is it? Is it a beach or is a hill? Beach. beach. It's a beach. Beach. And the second one is a beach. It's a beach ball or a beach chair. Beach chair. Beach chair. Beach chair. Beach chair. Uh, uh, beach chair. Is that a beach volleyball or a beach football? Beach, beach volleyball. <laughs> is that a pine tree or a palm tree? Palm tree. Palm tree. Palm tree. It's about sailing or it's about surfing? Surfing. It's about sailing or it's about windsurfing? Windsurfing. It's about snorkeling or it's about scuba diving? Snorkeling. Okay, what about this? It's about handball or water polo? Water polo. Is that a swimsuit or a swimming truck? Swimsuit. Sunscreen or sun hat? Sun hat. Sun hat. Sun hat. A folding chair or an arch armchair? Folding chair. Uh, folding chair. It's a folding chair. Okay. Is that a detached house or a mobile home? Mobile home. Is it a caravan or a van? Caravan. Is a basketball or a beach ball? Beach ball. Beach ball. Beach ball. Is a spade or a fork? <laughs> a spade. It's a spade, right? Hey, it's a tent or a van? Tent. Is that a rowing or a kayak? Kayak. 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 Is a what water kayak or a jet ski? Jet ski. Jet ski. Jet ski. Water kayak. Water kayak. Water kayak. Is a jet ski or a water jet ski? ski? Jet ski. Jet ski. It's a. It's about goggles or sunglasses. 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 So this is vocabulary that you can yeah. use when presenting what you did. During vacation time, okay. Let's see if, we, if I can see the answer here. Let me see the way we did it. Oh, we got a fine here. That's an average. That's an average. Okay, I will share it. I will share the link so that you can do it by your own leader and see what. What it's all about. I will include it in the chat. There you are, the link. Okay, so now let us see if it is possible to start our presentation from 
what you did during vacation time. And I will do it according to the, um, the list. For example, I have Nelson Rutilio. Nelson, I don't know if you are uh, ready to tell us about what you did during vacation. Recuerden, esa era la tarea, ¿no? Contarnos todo lo que hicieron o dejaron de hacer en sus vacaciones. Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. Um, what did I do on my vacation? I will tell you. On my vacation, I went to visit some relatives. I went on a hike to the Chinchontepec volcano. On vacation, I usually go to the beach and the movies. This time, I decided not to go because those places uh, fill up. So I decided myself to starting something, my English class. Ooh. And, and some miscellaneous jokes at home. That was it, Nelson. Excellent, Nelson. Pretty good. Now you are you are very starting to talk in English. Ana Ramos. Go ahead, Ana Ramos. Oh, I think Ana Ramos is is as a listener at the moment. Let's let's try with Aníbal Martinez. Aníbal, go ahead. Okay. I did I didn't go on vacation. I stayed in a home in my house in York. My family and like my mother and my brother came mm -hmm. to visit. My we had a beer kind and we had a great time as a family. We walk we walk products in our play case. All right, thank you, Aníbal. That was really nice. Okay. Aníbal Martinez, right? So now we have Armando Antonio. Uh, on my vacation, I work every day and I saw my daughter on the weekend. I went with my mom to dinner on Planes de Renderos. Okay, Armando, that's it? Yes, I work every day. And you work every day? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the, the information. Blanca Stephanie? On oh, my vacation, it was after Easter. I really, I really like participating in the teens of, of God on April 16th. We went to the beach with my family. We reality in Godget doing the sea and the in, in the sunset. I really liked I meet the sea and the sunset. It Feels fantastic. Um, during the August, August vacation, we went to visit my family. Okay, thank you very much, Blanca. Later, I will provide some feedback about your presentation, but actually, it was really nice. Cecilia, go ahead with your presentation, please. Uh, 
uh, on my vacation, my family and I went to Lake Ilopango. We ate uh, fish and shrimp cocktail. And yes, sort of. <laughs> Only that, Cecilia. All right. Mm. Yes, sort of. Only that. All right. So, Diana, what can you tell us about it? Uh, on my on my last vacation, uh, I went to visit my in laws and I got to know their town, San Pablo Tacachico, mm -hmm. and, and I ate a uh, artisanal public ice cream, mm -hmm. and that's it. And that's it. Thank you. Let us listen to Noelia. Hi, good evening. Good evening. My last vacation, had, I had a lot of fun because I went to the fair, fair with my family mm -hmm. and did many activities there. For example, we ate different traditional dishes, went on various uh, amusement rides and I played some games to win prizes. I went to see the famous Tagada but I didn't ride it because it scared me. I had a great time and I and after that we returned home and the rest of the days, I spent more time with my family. Fantastic. That was that was it, Elsa? Yes. Okay. That, that was really nice. Flo Floricia? Okay. I know I can't read the chat. I'm sorry, Floricia. You didn't have any vacation time? Okay, let's listen to Imelda then. Imelda? Um, this is how I spend my time during August vacation Personally, personally, I like to do different things every year. For example, last year I spent it with my family and we shared a nice moment. This year during the August holidays, I did my favorite sport and spent almost every morning surfing with my surfer friends. That okay. is all okay. I did. That was fantastic, like to be surfing during vacation time. Thank you, Imelda. Ingrid? Ingrid, can you listen to me? Well, okay, let us let us see. If... Okay, Jaime, are you ready, Jaime? Okay. Okay. Oh, my... Okay, on um, my, my vacation, I went to the beach. And uh, Mahawal Beach. I went my uh, with I I went with my my girlfriend and her her mother and her, her 
eh, girlfriend's friend, friend, eh, swing, to swing, eh, to eat, we eat, eh, eh, enjoys, eh, it's, it's fantastic, that's all. Okay, thank you, Jaime. Thank you, that's all. Now, let us listen to Jamilet. I think that's Karina Jamilet. Let us give the opportunity to Carla. Oh, okay, teacher. Hey, Carla, go ahead. On my vacation, I went to the cinema with my family. Also, I played soccer with my son and ate pizza at Papa John's. <laughs> okay. It is not a commercial, right? <laughs> okay. So I know that that pizza is delicious, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Thank you. Let's listen to Kenny. Okay, teacher. Uh, right. I used to go to the beach with my family at night, but we stopped going to the beach at night because five years ago I went to the beach with my family and one Saturday at midnight we all got moved. We were uh, terrified, really terrified, and since then we being afraid to go to the beach to sleep. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going by day and coming home early. And coming home early. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see. Kapkini, Maria Wendy. On my vacation, we went to church. We went for a walk to the beach. With my family and friends, we had a lot of fun. We stream, we ate a lot, but we decided to come early because we had to work the next day and we didn't want to go home late. We stayed the sun on the beach, while our usual, very beautiful, but for the next outing, it will be. Okay, thank you, Mary. Mary Wendy, that was really nice. Thank you very much. Marisol. Marisol. Last um, Saturday, I went for work with my mother and my three sisters. We went to Cerro Verde Park to drink coffee and enjoy the water and see the beautiful, beautiful landscape. And then I drove home. And then you drove back home. Good. Thank you very much. Now, Rutilio. Mm. Let us try with Romel. Okay. okay uh, my last vacation, I remember didn't do many activities. So I remember that I went to the Costa del Sol Beach with my family. And another day, I went to the San Salvador Volcano with my uncles. That then I visited uh, the Bicentenary Park. That's it. That was really good. 
No, I think we are almost done. Ronald. Let us pay attention to Ronald Alexander. Mm. Let us try with Wilfredo Alberto. I'm here. Okay, so Wilfredo, go ahead, please. Uh, I went to the beach with my family to Acajutla and in El Conchalillo Beach. And my daughter had her 15th birthday party sharing with family and friends. Uh, and I played basketball with my children. And that's it. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Now, Hey, I think this is the first part, the first time I, I ask every single person to participate in a class. I think it's really, really nice when, when you put into practice uh, the topics that we have been studying. Well, we're gonna have a another exercise and then we're going to try to finish with all the activities that we have uh, that i have prepared for tonight now here it is present simple yes or no can you see the info yes. okay e everything is gonna be in present and you are going to tell it or you are going to say it into past Todo lo van a ver en presente, pero ustedes le van a ir cambiando a pasado, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, present to past, de presente a pasado. Hey, it. Eight. No, give me a second, please. No, 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 no. Ok, so here. What's the weather like in the summer? What's the weather like in the summer? It is usually hot in the summer. That's a present, yes or no? It is, it oh. is, it is. It is, it is usually hot in summer. It is usually cold in summer. It was. 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 It All right. What do they usually do in the summer? What do they usually usually do in the summer? They usually did where where um, they had a picnic in the summer. They had they had they had. had. What about this one? Barbecue in the winter. They, they were. They were. They were. No, not really. They had. They had. They had. They had a barbecue in the winter. They had. Hey, what about this one? How do you say Gina's in English? Flip flops. What is the what is the pass? She used. Used. Uh, okay, so. Cuando hablamos, yeah. Let's see. Uh, she mm -hmm. okay. Bob. 
Ah, and she bought, right? Compró. She bought. Oh my God, qué cierto. She bought flip flops in summer, or she bought boots. Let's see the next one, please. What does usually uh, wear in the summer? Ah, so it said summer wear. El verbo wear. ¿Cuál es el verbo wear en pasado? War. War. She wore flip flops yeah. in the summer. She wore boots. Wore boots. She wore. Okay, so let us continue. Now it's going to be orally only. Uh huh. And what does he usually do in the summer? He did. He, he did. He did. Sing. Sing. So the expression is go fishing. La expresión que tenemos es go fishing. ¿Qué es en pasado? Pues, uh, he went fishing in summer. He went skiing. What about this one? Played. They played Play. outside. They inside March. They played, right? Okay. What about this one? They usually. What is the verb? Ah, it's right. They rode their bikes. They rode a banana boat. Okay, and I think it is it is like this, right? So let's see. Let's get back to the exercise in the booklets. I will try it once again. Give me one second because I don't find it out. Okay, so we went with the with this stuff. Thing for fast, there's no question. Summer activities. This is the one that we are studying. We can stories or reading weekend stories is something that we need to go over here. Now, but before finishing, let me see. Antes de que finalicemos, porque todavía tenemos 15 minutos. Bueno, vamos a ver esto por acá. Listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. 
I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. I didn't really like doing something, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot, right? Well, um, I will check list attendance, but meanwhile, going to the list attendance, let me tell you about what's coming tomorrow. Eh, para el día de mañana necesito que hagan su autobiografía. Ok. Que no se extiendan mucho, pero pues que nos hablen de acerca de ustedes. Desde que nacieron. Eh, eh, ¿Qué es lo que hicieron cuando eran pequeños? Eh, etcétera. Ok. Etcétera. En also. Y al mismo tiempo, pues, eh, busquen una biografía de alguien que ustedes admiran. Cualquiera de las dos nos van a presentar el día de mañana. Yo les voy a decir, autobiography o biography. Yo digo, autobiography, nos presentan su autobiografía. Si yo digo, biography, entonces nos presentan una biografía. Ok, mientras paso la, la, la asistencia, ustedes trabajan en ello, por favor. Okay, now yes. Ana Graciela. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Graciela. Anderson Jeremy. Anderson. Hmm, I don't see Anderson here. Okay, Anderson. Armando Antonio. Present teacher. Blanca Stephanie. Present teacher. Carlos Aníbal. Present teacher. Eh, Cecia Gemina. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Cecia. Oh, Diana Patricia. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer. Elsa Noelia. Here I am. Floricia. Ingrid, Hi. yeah, okay, Flor Floricia. Ingrid? Present. Jaime Iván? Jaime Iván? I am here, teacher. Okay, Karina Jamilet? Carla Gabriela? Present, teacher. Kenny Guadalupe? Present, teacher. María Imelda. Present teacher. María Wendy. I'm here, teacher. Good. Marisol. Present. Nelson. Romel. Present. Present teacher. Okay, Ronald. And Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, Wilfredo is here. Thank you very much. Wow, we're almost done with the list, Tina. Anderson, Jeremy. Now, okay, so it's over. So do me the favor, people. De tomarse estos minutitos para empezar a buscar 
una biografía o para empezar a crear su autobiografía. Ok, I will get back. Dentro de cinco minutos regreso para ver qué, qué es lo que han avanzado, ok. Okay, how do you say yo nací en? I was born. Ah, was born. excellent, you got it, right? Ya ven que lo están descubriendo ahorita. <laughs> No, mi amor, es que está lloviendo fuerte. ¿Eso? ¿Eso? ¿No? <risa> ok, <risa> Ho hopefully, hopefully, uh, you are to God like. Mm. A biography. Yeah. And remember to create your autobiography. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me, Blanca. Este, sobre esa autografía va incluido la, los, los nombres de nuestros papás. O, o también la, los sueños de uno, las metas. Ok, so that's a good idea, Blanca, to include the, your goals. Claro, a, ahí va incluido eh, la información de cuándo nació, dónde nació, eh, dónde estudió, cuáles fueron sus sueños, um, etc. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, hey, you're welcome. So I think we're gonna, let me see, we still have like four minutes. Mami, muy temprano se fueron, el vuelo sale que va atrasado. Van a estar mucho tiempo en el aeropuerto. Sí. Okay. Okay, any question for tomorrow?
Any question about the activities we are facing tomorrow? No? Okay, I think we're going to stop by here then. Nos quedamos por acá, entonces sí, recuérdense, mañana una biografía o una autobiografía. Okay, so let us see tomorrow, people. So good night. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher.